have a lower belly pouch. Bro, that's not a belly pouch, that's a belly couch. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. I'm fat. If you haven't noticed already, I've been fat my entire life. Literally when I was four years old, I remember the last time being actually thin. At my heaviest, I had a weight of 107 kilograms, which is a lot considering that I'm only 1 meter 70. But last year, I decided that enough is enough. So from August 2021 to May 2022, I lost 14 kilograms. A lot of people congratulated me on my weight loss, but some people asked me very weird questions. Yo, bro. What do you think of the fat acceptance movements? And I'm like, what fat accept? What the hell is that? And then I looked it up on TikTok and what I found was one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my entire life. This is my first reaction. Let's go to TikTok. Fat acceptance. Let's see what we find here. Let's roll. Reminder, fat people are hot and sexy and beautiful. Bro, if you have to remind people that... <laughs> If you have to remind people, then there has to be something wrong, bro. Throwing out diet culture like... Ma'am, that's a plank. <laughs> what the hell is that, bro? That's a wide throw, though. She's like, Olympics! <laughs> me being sad about how much weight I gained. Ordering McDonald's to make me feel better. <laughs> America moment. <laughs> Go to a gym. Enough workout for today. <laughs> Is this really the best middle finger you can do? <laughs> Sir the god man, girls can't make middle fingers, bro. They always look so goofy. <laughs> I managed to lose 10 kilograms because I watched plus size video. What? Who can read that so fast? I managed to lose 10 kilograms because I watched plus size videos to feel inspired to not be plus size. What the hell is she doing, bro? What kind of Fortnite dance is this, bro? In all seriousness, this behavior is borderline ED. Seek help. <laughs> You lost 10 kilograms, seek help. <laughs> is obesity healthy? People in the overweight and quote obese category statistically live longer than those in the normal and underweight. The more you know. What? Where the fuck did you get the statistics, man? From Roblox? <laughs> obesity three times more deadly than previously thought. 18% of all deaths in the United States. What the fuck is she talking about, bro? As someone who used to be fat, yes, one of the biggest fears is being fat again. I'm sorry, but ex-fat people are kind of the worst. What? Because society ingrained fat phobia so deeply that it's just normal. Bro, I swear to God, fat people on TikTok talk more about society than the joke comment. <laughs> society, man, shit. Fat girl society. <laughs> Reading about the racial origins of fat phobia. Learning about their apartment and left wondering that if I was born during that time, would that have happened to me? Yeah, no shit. If Hitler was alive, I would have been gassed too, as a Slav. Huh? <laughs> She's thinking about that shit. If I was born 200 years ago, would I? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Always stuck somewhere. Oh, I know the feeling so much, bro. Whenever I visit your mother. Today, I'd like to take a moment to glorify obesity. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ooh, yes. Today, I'd like to take a moment to glorify obesity. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, yes. Sponsored by McDonald's. <laughs> if when you're shopping, you take your size small and medium and go put it in the plus size to hide it and save it for yourself for later, you can fuck all the way off. Like, honestly, it's so freaking rude. Huh? Yeah, then take the cloth, put it somewhere else, and use the one that's bigger. What? What? What's the problem? I don't get it. What I eat in a day? Advent calendar. You eat an entire calendar? <laughs> what? Toast. Mm. A little child. Mm. Scrambled egg wraps. Okay. How many of them? Salad. That's not a salad, bro. That's a disgrace. <laughs> There's a lot of mayonnaise on that one. <laughs> Thing. Um, it was pretty good, to be honest. That looks pretty good, bro. What? Bro, I've seen food in the gulag looking better, but what the hell is that? Bro, uh, I, f I swear to God, like, I am fat. I'm very fat, but some of these things that the people eat here on this app, like, I would be shitting my brains out the next day. <laughs> Bro, I swear to god, what the hell are they eating, bro? When trying to act normal when the obese family walk by my table. <laughs> it always hurts me when I see a black person being fat phobic. It just crushes me. I've been dieting off and on for almost 30 years. I'm now trying to heal my relationship with food. Some people will never understand. Uh. <laughs> I don't eat. <laughs> 
calories in, calories out only works if the body works normally. And mine certainly does not. What? Yeah, your body is just defying fucking logic. Oh man, I eat nothing and I gain weight. What? That is exactly how it works. If you eat less calories, you lose weight. It doesn't matter what kind of metabolism, or whatever you call that word. I don't know, it's very difficult for me to pronounce it. It doesn't matter what your body is made of. Calories in, calories out. Oh. I read that for many Americans, it is a biological response from the Great Depression. <laughs> it's evolution! What the hell is this, bro? You sure about that one? I ain't sure, bro. Oh my god, you have lost weight. Oh, what a nice compliment. What is she saying about that? not be commenting whether I have or not. You don't know what it took to get there. If I was starving, restricted, dehydrated, over-exercised, all in the name of hell. I'm on a... ED recovery journey, not a weight loss. By this narrative, take a fucking compliment, bruh. Effort into my funny how you're gonna put effort into your appearance and not your nutrition. Maybe then you won't feel so crappy, huh? Oh! Damn, bruh. Based Karen, though. <laughs> Based Karen. Hi. <laughs> Effort, huh? <laughs> I'm a goddamn supermodel. Mm, I know, yeah. I also run multiple successful businesses. <laughs> I know. I also work out. Opening up a cucumber glass is not workout, bro. So many mental gymnastics to get from your leap. I don't know. Bro, she's breathing hard just standing and talking. <sighs> yeah. Um... <sighs> I'm sorry, if you're normal weight, you don't have to when you talk, bruh. I decided to Google her name. Tess Holiday. Tess Holiday. Book a shout out. Damn. Four reviews. <laughs> Holiday has spoken about her exercise regime in the past, explaining that she trains with a personal trainer four times a week. Shut the fuck up. Laughs in fat Let's checks. Go. Loves at fat checks. Laughs at not breathing heavy after <laughs> after climbing a set of stairs. <laughs> okay, bro. Do not have as much control over the size of our bodies. I cannot take people seriously who have eyes open like that, bro. If someone's talking to me like this, bro, I'm gonna run away. But Chill the fuck out. Look, another one. Why are they... Top 10 reasons you're fat phobic. Number one, I'm inside your walls. First of all, if in your mind you refuse to recognize the subhuman treatment of a group of people Stop shouting. because you expect them to drastically alter their body, you're a terrible human being. Get away from me. Secondly, more and more <laughs> research is coming out showing that fat people who do attempt to lose weight become vulnerable to other health conditions, including an eating disorder. Uh. You already have an eating disorder. That's why you're fat. Because it's an eating disorder. You eat too much. It's disordered eating. Hello? What? Not to mention all of the fat people with chronic illnesses and disabilities who physically can't lose weight. How can you physically not lose weight? What? If you eat less food, you gain less fat. This is on a video about how being afraid of being fat is inherently fat phobic. She's like, I don't agree. I'm like, that's fat phobia. She's like, actually, it's because I want to be able to walk upstairs without being out of breath. That's embarrassing. <laughs> what? That's embarrassing? You don't want to sound like Darth Vader walking up the stairs? That's embarrassing. How is that embarrassing, man? <laughs> What I eat? What? Bro, how? Uh, like, what kind of cocaine do people use on TikTok? Who's gonna read that? What I eat on cheat day? She, never ever. She eats all that much. I'm sorry, but where the fuck are all her comments containing unsolicited health advice from strangers? Where are the comments worried about her health, saying she's gonna die by the time she's 40? Where are the people counting her calories, although she didn't ask for them? Nowhere. Go, go right now, click on her video, go in the comment section, and see if she even has a quarter of the hate comments I get in all of my what I eat. Wait, 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 what? At first you said, where are the comments? Where? Where? Nowhere. Nowhere. But now you're saying a quarter of the comments that you're getting how is a quarter of the hate comments that you're getting nowhere what is that why are you lying all of my what i eat in a day video yeah because you're fat and she isn't because if you're fat then this means that you probably eat a lot of shit like that throughout the week or the month if she is extremely thin a cheat day so it means it is like a anomaly she doesn't do it often it's maybe once a week once a month once six months once a year no one knows but this is a perfect example about how fat people get harassed and mistreated for the same exact fucking things that thin 
No, it's not. How is it the same exact thing? It's not? And you know the thing that I always notice with these videos? It's always women in their 20s who make these videos. It's never the 30, 40, 50 year olds. I wonder what happens to the ones who are in their 50s.